On this, the biggest weekend of the year in the movie business with the Oscars tomorrow night, consider this. Not one of the top 14 grossing movies last year was rated R, which is why whether a movie gets an R rating versus a PG-13 is such a high dollar question. Joining us now for some answers is Joan Graves, who oversees the ratings board for the Motion Picture Association of America. Joan, who exactly decides the ratings? Is it industry people? No, not at all. It's a board of parents, and they can't have anything to do with the industry, as a matter of fact. Uh, there's a board of 12 now, equal fathers and mothers, and their whole purpose is to rate a film the way the majority of American parents would rate it. Now, in drawing a line, say, between R and a PG-13 movie, let's take violence. What is R-rated violence, and what is PG-13 violence? Well, PG-13 violence is usually, even though there can be a lot of it, it's usually action, more centered on the action. It's uh, superhero violence. Anything grisly or very graphic, brutal, torture, goes into the R. Let's take profanity. Not all swear words are created equal, I'm sure. Actually, that's the easiest part of rating because it's, it's so um, easily identifiable. There is the famous or infamous uh, F-word rule. If there was one use of the F-word, the film would get at least a PG-13 rating. More than one would get an R. Sex is obviously a huge issue. Let's take uh, the movie Endless Love, which is in the theaters right now. It's about first love. It's about intimacy. So why PG-13 as opposed to R? Well, that's easy to identify. It's the graphics or the absence of graphics that enables a, a film to be in PG-13. So whatever you see in Endless Love is going to be more suggestive than graphic. When you look at a, uh, a ratings, there's a sort of a descriptor box at the bottom. Yes. The rating indicates the level of content in the film, and the descriptor box gives all the elements that rise to that rating level. Because different children have different sensitivities, different families have different uh, cultural values. And it's really our best way of passing information to parents. Joan Graves, this is such an interesting topic. Thank you so much for joining us. I've, I've enjoyed it. Thank you.